slapping your stomach tak 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 like that tak 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 don't stop 50 to 60 times to feel ah ha that creates the sound of the one and clapping the temple bells are ringing and the energy starts moving the stomach gastric is out goodness is using the name gastric and other things but if it very very healthy so what we do morning after the nostril blow out we do the stomach pump is they call it kapalapadi <laughs> yes that creates the power do not go out without that one and second thing is you keep slapping your thighs or clapping your thighs dang 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 dong the you feel so energetic your urinary problems urinary problems can be solved sexual problems you feel energetic that is the base the foundation should be always strengthen the uh, the stomach they say the uh, harakiri people also this is life and death is over there and that is to be strengthened that is to be given the maximum effect whenever you get free time bum 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 hit your stomach inside part of the thigh slap inside part of the thigh it's so nice the pumping when you do the pumping you feel you can walk with the chest forward abdomen inside when we don't do that even my students in the ashram tells me oh we feel as if our stomach will become very low so pumping is very very important try that method it helps and do not forget gastroil gastroil is very very important in karnataka in our state in karnataka during the ugadi the main festival we used to put the castor into the right inside the eyes and then children massages and then into the ears and then massage but that is once a year but if you have eye problems because you are always watching the tv or your mobile eye power goes down do not go to buy the specs yes of course you have to keep that away from that but castrol you can apply castrol on the top of the uh, eyelids and down yes castrol or you can apply it and go to sleep do not forget about the gastric or something apply castrol into your stomach <laughs> and if you feel it is sticky you can put in a cloth and apply it a 98 story from the zen flesh zen bones non attachment kitano gempo about of i hate temple was 92 years old when he passed away in the year 1933 he endured his whole life not to be attached to anything as a wandering mendicant when he was 20 he happened to meet a traveler who smoked tobacco as they walked together down a mountain road they stopped under a tree to rest the traveler offered kitano a smoke which he accepted as he was very hungry at that time very hungry your hunger comes because you are not practiced your samskriti otherwise when hunger comes you can al- always embrace fasting that was the base the foundation the spirituality the truth and the god of india in rakum schools when we didn't have food when we didn't get any funding when there was no sponsors there are days in the beginning days i and my children used to sit right in the hall but the hall is right next to the roads so of bibu walking past they should be able to see what food we eat what food i give to my children because that was the talk everywhere telling children are not begin good food we sat and we thanked the god for this beautiful fasting and somebody saw that and they said this is not fasting this starvation and i said if it is starvation why don't you participate this children doesn't belong to me alone it belongs to you also together why don't you participate from that one success is yes. one success of accepting that hunger as fasting yes you teach your children here you get attracted when your hunger anybody gives they can purchase you no 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 you cannot purchase look at as he walked together down a mountain road they stopped under a tree to rest resting place on the way to your journey is not your journey's end yes please please to understand that whatever you studied it's just a resting place on the way to your journey it's not a journey and that has to be just removed out and then if it's something is good in that like the duck on the river bed it dives down and catches the prey along with the dirt and then it slowly removes the dirt and only the prey it swallows like that you go anywhere and if you know your sanskrit you're very strong whatever you learn from outside you just throw them out and only the what little one which can be attached to your for your growth for your samskriti you take it back home others you become a slave the travel offered kitan a smoke which he accepted as he was very hungry at that time nobody should be hungry at any part of the time hunger can kill you 
Even the brain can become hunger, the intelligence can become hungry. No, 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 you should have the power. When you do not have control, then they call it diarrhea, loose motion. Then the urinary bladder becomes loose, everything becomes loose. Then people call you loose. <laughs> How pleasant the smoking is, he commented. The other gave him an extra pipe and tobacco and departed. Kitana felt, such pleasant things may disturb meditation. Before this goes too far, I will stop now. So he threw the smoking outfit away. Yes. Yeah, after one smoke, yes, it's okay. After one, feeling is okay. But don't make it a habit to always take things which is given to you, which you do not need it. Even if you need it, you can work hard to get it. And when you study something, you know, if you are not put into practice back into the house, you have no right to enter the classroom the very next day. If you are not studied the Bhagavad Gita, the Vedas, Puranas, Ramayana, you have no right to enter a temple. If you are not studied the Bible, you have no right to enter the church. If you have not read the Quran and understood, could have put it into practice, you have no right to enter the masjid also. You cannot even go near to your father and mother if you are going to complain and try to squeeze something from them. You have to. You are going there only to love them. <laughs> yes. Like we never complain to God. Whenever we, there is no money in Rakum school, we never complain to God. We always thank Him for this beautiful space, emptiness. Yes. And we always find that emptiness always created a magnetic field for people to come and just share it up. When he was 23 years old, he studied I King, the profoundest doctrine of the universe. It was winter at the time and he needed some heavy clothes. He wrote to his teacher who lived a hundred miles away, telling him of his need and gave the letter to a traveler to deliver. Winter was coming and he think it was going to get cold. So he wanted clothes, he wanted, the want is a greed one. The greed comes because you have not practiced, your body is not become strong. Otherwise, when cold comes, you are not frightened. You close your left nostril and you breathe from the right nostril. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Five full minutes, around 300 counts, you can see immediately the body turns into heat and hot. Yes, yes, you breathe it out. And if you do your exercises, you keep just open close one lakh times, the body is heated up. Where there is cold, when you are in the cold, be the cold, when you are in the hot, be the hot. So practice this one. Another one thing is the cinnamon powder is very good. Mix it up with a little bit of honey if you want to drink, body is heated up. <laughs> you don't need winter clothes, almost whole winter, heavy clothes. He wrote to his teacher who lived a hundred miles away, telling him of his need and gave the letter to a traveler to deliver. Almost the whole winter passed and neither answer nor clothes arrived. So Kitano resorted to the prescience of Aiki who also teaches, which also teaches the art of divination to determine whether or not his letter had miscarried. He found that this has been the case. A letter afterwards from the teacher made no mention of clothes. If I perform such accurate Determinative work with I King. I may neglect my meditation, felt Kitano. They agreed to understand whether they got it, they understood us, whether people love me or not, why they are not loving me, why nobody is loving me, everybody is trying to only create trouble. I only worked hard, I am I'm strong, I all this, I only made, nobody has helped me, nobody has helped me. All these talks, they are only borrowed knowledge talks, greed talks, because you have not practiced. Once you have practiced, you understand, once you become very strong, like how in Rakum schools and me and all my kids, when we practice, we always make sure everybody is coming is God's form. And everyone grows is over here is because of their prayers. Yes. Everyone small, when I tell people, all the growth is because of you, he said, no, no, I am a small thing. That everyone small thing, everyone drop, we felt is precious, is golden, is diamond. Then you do not have the ego and the selfishness and the greed to tell, no, 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 nobody has taught me. Everything is, oh, I only did it. I only did it. No, 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 you alone cannot do it. It is the strength of all together. You will love. If you start thinking, then you will never share it. When you don't share it, you will be in trouble. If I perform such accurate, determinative work with I King, I may neglect my meditation, felt Kitana. So he gave up his marvelous teaching and never resorted to 
its power again, powers again. When he was 28, he studied Chinese calligraphy and poetry. He grew so skillful in these arts that his teacher praised him. Kitano mused, if I don't stop now, I'll be a poet, not a Zen teacher. So he never wrote another poem. <laughs> Not that you shouldn't be a poet or a, a writer. Being Zen is trying to practice yourself to make your body very strong. Otherwise, dreamy world of writing poetry. Otherwise, you look at the country. The country is very poor. India is poor. China was poor. Japan was poor. So many beautiful poets, Zen masters were there. Zen masters in the sense, people who write the poetry. Zen masters, not the practitioners. The poetry they wrote and people lived with their dreams. And with the poetry came, the film actors, they created dreams and people was always going after the dreams. They were not practicing, they were not stabilizing the house. They never tried to love the family and connect the joint family, family tree. For saved then spent, when they have saved the family, and the joint family family tree, then they have the right to go outside, even to the film theater to watch another film actor doing the stunts. You will not even open a poetry book to find out where there is poetry inside there. There is no poetry except dreamy world. <laughs> and there is calligraphy and uh, poetry, which was practiced for so many, he just dropped it. And he want to become Zen teacher in the sense, he want to become. Like what Ramana Maharshi said, ask who am I? Jesus said, knock on the door, shall be opened. Some even said, awake rise. He wanted to awake rise his strength, the thousand man warrior's strength, to make sure that every, every cell in the brain wakes up. And when you wake up, you are always healthy. You're always looking younger. And your spirit makes others to work harder. <laughs> no work, no food till the last day of your death, you will work. Otherwise, you will not eat. No sweat, no eat. So he never wrote another poem. He just became a Zen teacher, means he just became himself. That is skeletal muscle, no visceral fat.